Well, welcome. Thank you for joining us for Five News. I'm Joe Ellison. The Netflix show Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem and Madness came out at a time when Americans were staying home to keep themselves safe from the coronavirus. The name Joe Exotic exploded and the rest is history. Joe Exotic is, though, once again making headlines. And this time it's because he wants to move to Fort Smith, Arkansas. It's right here in our backyard and people are sharing this news online. With so many interested, we contacted Joe himself. Why Fort Smith? He talks about all of that and more in this Five News interview. We got special permission to record the interview. Joe is currently behind bars at a medical facility in North Carolina. Here's what he had to say. Just for our Five News viewers, you know, we're here with the Tiger King, Joe Exotic. And Joe, I just want to ask you, there's a lot of buzz going around in Arkansas right now. We heard that if you're pardoned, you may make Fort Smith, Arkansas your home. We want to know why well, Fort Smith. <laughs> you know, if I'm pardoned, I'm hoping to be pardoned. I'm praying to be pardoned. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that the congressman... Uh, Mr. Womack that's running for uh, re-election will put some voice out there for me to, to come to Fort Smith. But regardless whether I'm pardoned or I, I get my appeal, I win my appeal that's, that's going on or my motion for a new trial, somehow, some way, I'm going to get out of here. And I'm going to make Fort Smith my, my home because I, I met uh, an amazing man that, that is in Fort Smith and lived there his whole life and we age for a little over two, a year now, almost two years. And I can't wait to get home. <laughs> You've been to Fort Smith before. Tell us about that and what you like the most about it. Well, you know, I, I used to tour for nine years doing magic with my, my cats and, and everything else around the country. And I did a lot of shows uh, there in Fort Smith and Bentonville and, and all over Arkansas. And, you know, from, from clear back in 2003, when I used to tour uh, to 2010, uh, the people in Fort Smith have, have always been welcoming and nice, and the countryside is beautiful. And, uh, you know, the businesses there, as of today, do me some amazing favors. <laughs> you had mentioned some in specific. Tell us about those yeah. and what they do for you. Well, yeah, there's, uh, first of all, there's the, I, I think it's Ornithon, uh, you know, bent over backwards uh, to help uh, me uh, and Seth get Seth a new car because he was hard to get to work. So they, they, they bent over backwards to get financing for us to get him a car. Uh, Domino's Pizza uh, delivers and delivers pizza to his house with the love you notes in them. Uh, same way with the, the flower shop. And, and um, then there's a, a Mexican restaurant there in town that delivers him. He works from home, and he works from six o'clock at night till six o'clock in the morning. So uh, they deliver him. They deliver him supper every once in a while for me. With I miss you and I love you, no tell him. Well, let's talk about this person that you're mentoring, mentioning. This is uh, your fiance, Seth. What can you tell us about him? You, you know. Look, he, he has been there, and we met, we met over a year ago, uh, and I have been through hell since I've been in here. I've been in solitaire and isolation the majority of the time. Uh, and, and there's been times where I've only had one phone call a month, and then I go through Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, and my birthday uh, with, with being in solitaire confinement, and... Uh, been there the whole time, uh, sitting at home waiting on me and waiting on that one phone call. But now I get to talk to him three or four times a day on the phone. I call, I call and wake him up for work. I call and call and tell him to go to get, get night before he goes to bed in the morning. But uh, he's amazing. You know, he's he's young, uh, and and his family is is completely supportive. Uh, you know, his name is Seth Posey. Uh, his his whole family is. So loving and so supportive, and I don't know if you know much about reading my book, but my family disowned me back in 1980, in the 80s, for being gay, so I have no family, and my mom and dad both died since I've been in here, uh, so I, I have a new mom and dad now, uh, you know, a mother-in-law and father-in-law that, that think I hung the moon, and that's just amazing, and I have a little boy that is just... 
I can't wait to get home and spoil him. If you were to move to Fort Smith, what would you say to the folks of the River Valley who could one day be your neighbor? What is your message to This call is from a federal prison. Well, you know, first of all, anybody that has ever watched my YouTube channel, Tiger King really didn't do me a whole lot of justice. You know, I, I, I am loud and I am kind of eccentric, uh, but I'm, I'm very real. And I promised my mom and dad when I very first started in the show business uh, and making movies, one of my very first movies was with Alice and Eastwood. Uh, and I promised my mom and dad then that I would never let it go to my head. And I would always make sure that my fans got a personal response from me. So I'm looking forward to, to coming to Fort Smith and shopping at Walmart and the local grocery stores and the hardware stores and, and meeting people in the aisle just like it would be anybody else. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to bringing some of my charity work uh, to, to Fort Smith for teen intervention, uh, for, for bugs and alcohol and and self-identity crisis because I've been there, I know what they're going through, and I get letters every day from eight-year-olds to, to 40-year-olds that find it themselves. Uh, and, and with the pressure in the world today, uh, I look forward to, to coming to town and I'll the community uh, ballpark uh, for to, to be able to use in memory of my brother and the people that represent uh, so I'm, I'm excited and I can't wait to, to meet everybody in Fort Smith and somehow, some way, my first concert is going to be a benefit concert in Fort Smith, Arkansas. <laughs> That's our interview with the Tiger King, Joe Exotic, over his sights being set on Fort Smith. But it doesn't stop there. Joe dives into his health. He's been diagnosed with cancer. He plans to run for president. He's appealing his case, asking for a new trial. You can find out what he has to say about that. Just search this story at 5newsonline.com. For 5 News, I'm Joe Ellison.